What's going on guys? Josh from EverydayFBA.com here with about 92 pieces of inventory ready to go into Amazon, but I thought that I would make this video for you guys because I wanted to break down the numbers of this shipment and really kind of analyze the results with you and see Am I doing the right thing by sourcing the parameters that I have set? Am I doing the right thing by setting the triggers the way I have them set up? We're going to look at the numbers behind this shipment and see if I'm being smart about what I source. And this is about $1,400 worth of profit right here on this table. Right now, real quick, what I want you guys to do is head on down to the comment section and take a guess from me. What I want you to guess is, how many of these 92 DVDs make me more than $10 profit? That is really the main question that I wanted to answer here in this video. And the reason is I wanted to make sure that I'm making the best use of not only my time, but also my buy money, my, my money that I'm spending to acquire inventory. Am I making smart choices and smart decisions in what I am sourcing? So I wanted to see in this lot, this sample size, how many of these DVDs, 92 of them here, how many of them will actually net me $10 plus profit? How many are netting me five to $10 profit? Am I getting the most bang for my buck? Let's find out. All right, guys, here is the first half of this shipment. This is everything that makes me $10 profit or less. So in total, so far, there are 48 items here. Uh, 94,000 rank, we're not really gonna pay attention to rank, but $887 in sales value, $120 in buy costs, and $426 in profit. So I'm spending $120, and I'm getting back $426 in profit on these 48 DVDs. That is a return on investment of about 350%, not too bad. I'll usually 5X my money, so I usually get 500% return on investment, 350%, not too bad, but again, keep in mind, these are only the DVDs that are making me $10 profit or less now as we go through and we answer the rest of the dvds let's look at those remember these are the ones that i'm going to add to this batch are the big money makers all right everything is all in now now look at it looking a lot better 92 total items rank is still good at 101,000. now these sales price these sales expected sales are 2450 dollars $426 in total buy cost and $1,444 in total profit. Now the ROI is somewhere around 600%. So we're looking a lot better. This is all the shipment. This is everything in total, but we want to know the differences in the two halves, right? So let's go ahead and bust out the calculator, do a little math and break it down. And we can see, you know, what am I making more profit on? Am I making a good use of my time? Am I sourcing wisely? Let's find out. All right, here we go. So we're going to start by subtracting the total units, 92, and we'll subtract the first 48 that we entered because those first 48 were the 10 profit and under, leaving us with 44 DVDs. So 44 of these DVDs in this shipment make me $10 plus in profit, are making me some great, great profits, 44 total versus the 48 that are under 10. Next, we'll look at the sales volume. So we're coming in at 2450 minus 887, leaves us with 1564. So again, 44 DVDs are making $1,564, and those first 48 that I entered are making me $887. So next we'll look at buy cost. Total buy cost was 230. We originally spent 120, so that's gonna leave us with 110. So we spent 110 on these 44 more high profit DVDs, right? All right, let's break down the profit now. 1,444 is the total profit on the whole shipment, minus the uh, profit of 426 for those under 10 items, leaves us with $1,018. The over 10 items, the over 10 DVDs made me $1,000 in profit compared to the $426 in profit the under 10 DVDs did. There you have it, guys. All the numbers laid out in front of your eyes. Definitely some nice profits and figures over on the right side of the screen. But the left side is just equally as important. It's still throwing in some nice profits. But that was the experiment. Did these numbers uh, meet your expectations? Are you surprised with them at all? Let me know in the comments how you feel. All right, guys, so that is the numbers behind this shipment. What do you think? What was your guess? Did you guess correctly? Did you guess that almost half, half of these items 
would be netting me more than $10 plus profit? Did you guess that half of them would be making me five to $10 profit? Did you guess that I would be spending less money here, but making way, way, way more profits? So what do you think about our little experiment and how do you run your used media business? Are you one of those sellers that only takes high profit, high ASP selling items? Or are you the type of seller that goes through and scoops up every single piece of profit that they can to build their inventory and build their business. There is a good argument that could be said for both sides, but what do I say? I say things are better together. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the website, and I'll catch you guys on that next video. If you are a brand new Amazon FBA seller or you want to learn how to start selling on Amazon FBA, you want to get into selling used media, books, CDs, DVDs, you want to start doing some retail arbitrage, some online arbitrage. If you want to learn more about all this awesome stuff and how you can make money on Amazon and make money online in general, look in the description. There's going to be a ton of links to help you get started. There's going to be some free resources, some free trainings and also some other paid stuff, some good softwares, some good tools, everything that I use to run my Amazon FBA business. If you are a new seller, you want to know where to start, look in the description, check out those links.